The Creation Evidence Museum is duly chartered as an educational entity to excavate, experiment, research, and produce evidence consistent with biblical and scientific creation. We have made a difference in paleontology. I've had the privilege of discovering and directing the excavation of 16 different dinosaurs, from Acrocanthosaurus in Texas to a very large Apatosaurus in Colorado. One of our most important scientific experiments has to do with the building of the world's first hyperbaric biosphere. We are simulating the conditions before the worldwide flood of Noah's day. One of the areas of our primary scientific investigation has to do with the reports from the old timers that they had found human footprints among the dinosaur footprints in the Paluxy River Basin. For decades, we have excavated along the banks of the Paluxy River consistent with the state laws, and we have literally removed the overburden, have discovered over 90 human footprints among over 600 dinosaur footprints consistent with the biblical record in Job chapter 40. Now this has generated global controversy because it flies in the face of evolutionary theory. Nevertheless, it is true. I have the privilege of discovering the first bit of evidence that ultimately revealed these pots and the skeletons of those who were massacred during the destruction of Jerusalem. In the excavations, our team discovered a coin that dated this massacre to the destruction of Jerusalem by Titus in 70 AD. That made a difference in archaeology. One of our most gratifying research projects has been to formulate a creation model from Genesis to Revelation. At the same time, this creation model is consistent with good geology, anthropology, biology, paleontology, and archaeology. We now have built a 25-foot scale replica of Noah's Ark, and it uses the structural engineering technique in the use of gopher in the Bible. This replica introduces an open span where you can look inside and see various details consistent with the biblical record with the engineering techniques that aeronautical men have verified could cause this vessel to survive the flood.